This is Twit. We, we discovered electricity uh, long before we knew what to do with it. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, we, we think of it as this very somehow common or necessary product. Um, but no, we actually... Uh, the electric battery was invented a um, hundred years, essentially before people started to get electricity regularly in their homes. Um, we could make electricity for thirty years, uh, very you know quite reliably make electricity for thirty years before anybody had any idea what it would be good for. Um, but there was sort of simultaneously there was a, it was understood um, that there was a need for better light. Um, so there were a lot of people who was like, we have this electricity thing, we need better lighting systems there must be a way to bring these two things together. So the early history of electricity, which, you know, there's a new movie coming out, another one of these, um, you know, brilliant geniuses, bat heads, kind of Edison, Tesla movies. Um, people love that story. You know, <laughs> they just love it. It never, it never gets old. Um, but the, the, what was actually going on with, there was a man before Edison, whose name was Charles Brush, who had invented a lighting system that was quite popular. Um, and, uh, you know, there was, I think there were 17 brush grid, grids in um, in New York before Edison had his first grid, um, came on in 1882. So he, in a way, the, this idea of like, how will we make a system that uses electricity to make light? Um, what are the physics of that project? What are the economics of that project? Who will we sell it to? It was, a, it's a very capitalist story. It's about creating a product that one can actually somehow get people to consume and who those people will be right and in the early days of electricity um those people were rich people uh and companies uh and that um uh, was true all the way through um until the 1910s 19 teens about 100 years ago um there was a guy in, Sh in chicago um who had been uh edison secretary personal secretary and then took over this the edison franchise in chicago who realized that actually you could make a lot of money on electricity by selling it very cheaply to a lot of people. Um, and he began to build these systems that became universal electrification. Uh, in the Great Depression, uh, it became universal electrification because the cities were actually largely electrified following Samuel Insull's model, um, and the rural areas were still dark. And so it, as it became understood that electricity was some kind of common good that would provide for the uplift of the entire nation. Um, the government stepped in during the Great Depression to make sure that the whole nation had um, access to the same quality of electrical service, even in places where you could never make a profit off of it. Um, so that's how we got universal electrification. And then the electricity story really changed to be about what can we sell people that will make them use more electricity. So you can see the 1950s as this sort of you know, stupendous story of figuring out what to sell people <laughs> so that they would use more electricity so that their electricity bill would go up because once everybody had access to it, um, it and it was uh, priced very, very low, uh, continues to be priced very, very low uh, in most places in the United States. Um, the issue was um, get them to use more. Mm. Uh, so then you have companies like GE, which we now think of as an appliance company. Um, but it was, a, it was a part of this shift from uh, it was Edison General Electric. Um, it was about supplying electricity, and then it became about supplying refrigerators. Um, very, very power-hungry refrigerators. Uh, so that's the very fast story. <laughs> very fast story. And then you know we get we, the conservation becomes part of it. Um, environmental degradation. People begin to understand what all of this this consumption is actually having an effect on the world. Um, and you electricity like. If it, the idea of efficiency and conservation comes in uh, in the, I would say already in California in the late 1950s because of the smog crisis, but um, certainly by the late 1960s with the nuclear power plants, 1970s, um, all the way up until Three Mile Island, um, everybody's learning to turn off their turn off the light when they leave the room, and the the electric companies are completely stunned because they've never had a decrease in consumption in the entire history of their. Of their of their working world, consumption has always gone up, um, and suddenly it wasn't. Um, and actually, in the U.S. today, even though we're adding a lot of people and we're adding a lot of machines, the efficiency is is getting so good on these machines. It's, it has, in fact, become an industrial value to create a machine which is electrically efficient. Um, that use in the U.S. has been has been flatlined since two thousand seven. 